here. Hi, my sexy is strong. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, my sexiest John, if you want to see the screen share, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. All right, everybody, come on in. So sorry to keep you waiting. Hope you all are well. Let me get a beverage. We have our glass of ice. Shout out to the Walmart water. I'm sure Brandon will stop by. So I'll keep the can in his uh, in his honor. All right, let me get my screen together, y'all. Struggling already. Hmm. Let me make sure I have everything together for you. All right, let's see. It's been a busy week, class. It's been a busy week. Okay, wonderful. We'll see you over here once I get my screen stuff together. Um, where are we? Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, let me pull up the website to get my photos ready. Um, I'm just... <laughs> How rude of me. Let me go ahead and introduce myself for anybody new here. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Usually, I'm welcoming you to my struggle cooking class. I haven't been cooking in a while. I'll be cooking tomorrow. The boys will be back from their dads, and I will be cooking all week. Marcus will spend the week with me, so you're going to see a lot of uh, man food or boy food. Hello, Kim G. Thank you so much for being here. So good to see you, sweetheart. All right. All right. So yeah, we are going to chat, sit back and relax. Who do we have here? Lauren, my neighbor. She says, good evening. Good evening, my dear. So good to see you here. So good to see you here. All right, everyone. Let's see. I'm going to add one more photo to this. We're just going to take it easy. Take it, take it easy. Oh, do I even have my devices on Do Not Disturb? <sighs> One moment, family. Oh, all right. Does anybody else provide tech support for their parents? Y'all know how it goes. Hello, Mona. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, shout out to Mona. Uh, you all, please check out Mona. She has a YouTube channel of her own, and she also has one for the kiddos. Uh, Mona is part of the lead attorney community. You all know I'm a proud student of lead attorney, so please check her out and support. All right, where am I? Yeah, I'm struggling, but it's fine. I'm going to add one more picture. There it is. Okay. We are going to talk about fried chicken today. How fun is that? I had fried chicken today. Bad, Maggie. I give up. Okay, I don't give up. I will not give up. We are going to get this weight off. But I went to a conference downtown and we had a break for lunch and so I made the decision to go have a, a restaurant called Gus's famous, world famous fried chicken. So they say, Mona is asking how everyone is doing. I'm doing well, if I'm being honest with you all. I'm slow. I just got a massage, so I had to like get myself together, but I'm doing well. If I seem relaxed, I am. It's been a busy week, y'all. It's been very exciting. Let me go ahead and give you all the disclaimer. I know that I promised the San Diego recap on Saturday, which is today. However, uh, two very important gentlemen to me and to you all, lead attorney and uh, Brandon Eljet, are um, approving the pictures that will be released. Nothing happened, but y'all know, we just got to make sure we don't get out ahead, get out in front of, um, you know, leadership. So um, just making sure all of our T's are dotted and our 
eyes are crossed. So as soon as I have the green light, something about the green light, uh, uh, go ahead and get the green light. Y'all know I don't know this stuff, but there's a song with a green light in it and I felt like singing it. Um, so as soon as I have it ready, believe me, uh, we might have to break it up into like multiple because there's the stuff that I did on my own in San Diego. There's the Fogo de Chao, then there's the escape room, but we'll play it by ear. I think the survey that we put out, um, you all wanted a live stream. So, ah, Mona says you've got a few gusses in your area. Y'all, I'm almost embarrassed to do this because I'm like... How did Maggie end up in this place? What does my sexiest strong say? I love fried chicken. It's all about balance. Okay, here's the problem. That is my absolute favorite meal. If I could go down in a blaze of glory, what I ate today would be that. Fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and some type of vegetable. For me, probably a salad. So that pretty much negates what I'm about to say, which is I've been working with a metabolic specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, usually what I make is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. I've been on the health and wellness journey. I am down 80 pounds with at least 20 more to go. Will we ever get there? Yes, we will. Bye. The Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes, we can. Okay, did I say that I'm a boy mom? They're teenagers now, but those songs have still stuck in my head. Sorry, y'all, for anybody new here, I am not cool. So I have outbursts, they're usually musical, um, and I'm silly, uh, but I do love to eat clearly and uh, share my... Um, dining experiences with you all. So usually I'm cooking on this channel about 80% of the time. Like I said, the boys will be back tomorrow from their dad. So I'll be cooking every day this coming week. Um, but when I'm not in the kitchen, then I like to share my dining experiences with you all. And so I have a series called Dining Documentaries. And so if I eat out of the kitchen and off of my plan, that's what we're going to talk about. Who do we have here? Try Guy Travel says, don't worry, we'll be embarrassed together, Maggie. Yes, we are all going to be embarrassed, y'all. Ah, oh, who do we have here? Is this your first time here, sweetheart? Courtney Yander says, hey, Maggie, I'm from Mason, Tennessee. Oh, wonderful. No, I think I've seen you before, Courtney, where the original Gus's Chicken is located. Thank you for saying that. So being in Atlanta, Atlanta is a really good town or city for cuisine. And so any, there's so much stuff that originates here, Chick-fil-A, Coca-Cola, Delta, UPS, Home Depot. There are so many headquarters here in Atlanta. So I just think everything came from Atlanta. I know, I know, I know. So um, let me put one more picture in here for you all. Um, I'm going to show you guys where I went today and I'm going to give you my review. I had actually eaten here before. And uh, it's been years. And so I decided to go back and um, I'm going to give you all my honest opinion. That's what I do here, because when I'm cooking, y'all give me your honest opinion if you like it or if you don't. So, all right, I think we're good. Just grabbing some photos. So for anybody new. Usually what we do on the dining documentaries is we look over the website. We learn a little bit about the restaurant together because usually I don't know. Um, and then we go take a look at what I actually had. We chat about it and then we do it again the next time. Who do we have here? We got Dottie Girl in class. She says, hey, Glass. I'm sure she means, hey, Class. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here. Dottie from the UK. It's late for you, sweetheart. You must be a night owl. Oh, you know, I need to get another London sweatshirt. I got one when I was there last time. Hmm. Good to know. It's good to have friends all over. Uh, Mona says, please like the live stream on your way in. Yes, thank you all. We are closing in on 2,000 subscribers. Um, my channel is just about a year old. I think February will be a year. So we'll put together some type of memory lane uh, of my top embarrassing moments in the kitchen. I'm sure that'll be fun. Nana and the boys will make an appearance, I'm sure. Um, 
But yes, you all have been so instrumental to help the channel to grow. And so I appreciate that. So when you're here and you're chatting and you're engaging, it sends notifications out to YouTube that good stuff is happening. And so they recommend my channel to new people. So thank you all for the support. Ah, uh, yes, Courtney, that's right. I have seen you. I have seen you before. Thank you, sweetheart. Try Guy says, I've been on so many field trips to Coca-Cola World <laughs> when you lived in Atlanta. Yes, you all hear, it's kind of like... World of Coke, Six Flags, the aquarium. It's just kind of like a rotating, like, you know, if you're part of a school or Boy Scouts or whatever, um, Stone Mountain, the laser show, there's so much of that stuff here that's just quintessential Atlanta. So yes, absolutely. Oh, my sexiest strong says, you are in Phoenix. You have Gus's fried chicken in Phoenix. Okay, fantastic. You may try it out based on my review. Oh dear. Well, let's get right to it then. Okay, and who do we have? You all know him and you love him. None other than our class clown, Wilbert Gross. Wilbert, did you get your care package? Can you let me know? Let me know. <laughs> ah, what does Courtney say? The franchises are good, but not as good as the original. Thank you for saying that because I'm not going to withhold my feedback. There are some things I like, there are some things I didn't like, but maybe it's just me. I'm a small town girl with big dreams, so I don't want to act like I'm like too big for my britches, but I do like nice things. Then you get the hole in the wall country feel. Wait a minute. I felt like I was in a hole in a wall today. I got pictures and videos for you all. Is the original even holier than this hole in the wall? Stand by and you'll let me know. All right. Unsolicited etiquette tip of the day. You all know I've been on my own etiquette and elegance journey for various reasons. And I, I'm following this English butler. When we drink, we are supposed to take small sips. We are not to guzzle like a camel. So I have to work on that, not tossing it back like a dude. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I do have another channel called Teachable Moments with Maggie, if you like all that etiquette and elegance and personal development and soft skill stuff. If not, you're welcome here for the snacks. And I have an almost free Patreon. It's $1 a month because that's the lowest price Patreon will let me do. Um, and we have um, meetings and I share with you all what I'm learning and the courses that I'm taking. And I think we're going to meet again this coming Wednesday night. Uh, we have a case study if you want to know about some of the work that I've done to refine because I need it. All right, everyone, let's get started on Gus's world famous fried chicken. So I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna start by taking a look at the website for the Atlanta location, all right? This is where I was today. Uh, uh, uh. I love that you all know this stuff. I don't really get out much. So sometimes I'm like, oh, let's try this place out. Okay. You all know me, or let's do this view so you can see the whole screen. Okay, you all know me, or I believe that you know me well enough. <laughs> let's take a look at this photo. Let's just let's just pause for a moment, class. What you know about uh, Maggie, um, the location that I was in um, didn't look like this. I went to a different one. Let me see if we have more than one in Atlanta. Hold on one second, y'all. Locations. Okay, Gus's Fried Chicken locations, all right? So what they're saying is that this Gus's Fried Chicken has like this signature kind of sweet and spicy, not to be confused with Nashville hot chicken. So it's not that, but it's got a sweet and spicy flavor. And I did like the chicken, but let me just see if we have more than one location in Atlanta. Y'all, I'm looking at this for the, for the first time. Okay, so we have three in Atlanta. We have Chambly, Atlanta. Yeah, so this is the one I was at in Sandy Springs. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right. So let's go back. Oh, let me just go back. Way back when. Okay. 
So I don't know where this location is. Maybe they moved, but um, it's a good thing. I'll just say this. It's a good thing I didn't necessarily see this before I decided to go. I was downtown for a conference. We had about a couple of hours uh, for a lunch break. And uh, what I really wanted to do, I was at the Sheraton in downtown Atlanta, and I really just wanted to go to the hotel restaurant because it was cold today and I really didn't want to have to go anywhere. However, the hotel restaurant was only open for breakfast and for dinner. So there was really nothing available for lunch except for like grab and go sandwiches at the Starbucks. So they did have some restaurants downtown that were just within walking distance. And uh, most of the people there were going to like, there's a diner, there's a Chinese restaurant, and then there was Gus fried chicken. And I was like, ah, I'll go to the chicken shack because probably going to be less crowded. And, uh, you know, since they say they're world famous, we'll give it a try. So I don't know where this location is. Maybe this is an old storefront, but let's dive in, shall we? All right. So we got Atlanta, Georgia, Gus's fried chicken. You can see when they're open and where they are. All right. So let's take a look at the menu. Um, notice this red and white checkered um, tablecloth. I should have known, but it's okay. We were at a chicken shack. So <laughs> it's not the uh, sophisticated places, but it was fun. It was fun. Let's go. All right. So let's see what's on the menu at Gus's. So we have some simple sections here. We have our appetizers. All of them are served with ranch. So hopefully you like ranch dressing. Then you can get individual pieces of chicken. That's good to know. You can get a chicken plate. And a chicken plate, think of that as like your combo, right? Where you can get uh, basically your meat and two sides. Okay, here are all of your sides. Let's see what else they have. We're going to go through this a little bit more detail. You can get a chicken snack if you just want meat and bread. Kids meals, desserts, they have specials, and then they have beverages. All right. So we are going to go through the sections here. As you can see, it's a very simple menu. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. You could probably do that's probably all you need with fried chicken, right? So for those of you all who enjoy fried chicken, I want to know how you like your fried chicken. If you had your fried chicken, what are your sides and what are your pieces? Ah, what does Dottie Girl say? Don't worry about the TLA meetup pictures, Maggie. I was so excited to see the content. However, after a week of waiting and not seeing much content on YouTube, I'm not so bothered now. Okay, Dottie Girl, I appreciate the update. I'm still going to do it. Um, because I want to. And uh, my last TLA meetup is one of my uh, highest watched um, videos. Um, and it was a great, great experience and trip down memory lane and kicked off something very exciting I'm doing. Hey, Lou Casey, how are you, my dear? You know where to find us if you want to hop on over. Who do we have here? Big Bad Bull. Thank you so much for being here, sir. He says, Maggie, the substitute teacher, let me find out. You are bougie. I'm going to still love you regardless. Okay, this is where I'm struggling because I got a talk into earlier today. I know where I come from. How do, you, how do you balance being humble and being grateful and knowing that you come from an immigrant family and you don't come from money, but then wanting nice things? I don't know. Like, I'm struggling with that. But I went and I had a good time. But I do. I do like nice things. And I think part of it, too, and here's my problem. Um, because I don't eat much off of my plan, can't tell lately. Uh, when I do, I like to be, like, just blown away. And it's, like, worth the calories. So, but anyway, my own personal struggle. Let's go back to the snacks. But thank you, Big Bad Bull. I'm going to try and uh, keep it together. <laughs> All right, you all. So let's look at our starters. Here are our options. Your appetizers, you have three. Now just compare this to some of the other places we've visited uh, lately. You can get fried pickles, fried green tomatoes, or fried okra. Tell me you're in the South without telling me you're in the South. So three choices for starters. I want to know what are you all choosing? If you had to share an appetizer, which one would you get? You have three choices. You can get fried pickles, 
I almost got the fried pickles because of the whole pickle pizza thing, but we're going to leave that where it was. Fried pickles, fried green tomatoes, or fried okra. Y'all know I said I was going to do that um, that movie. Um, God, what did I say I was going to do? Um, like movie food um, series, and I still want to, y'all. It's just been this year we just really come off with a bang with collabs and some of these I've been working on for a while. So when people finally say yes, you know, I want to make sure I clear my schedule to make it happen. Um, But yeah, what would you all have from the starter menu? I'd love to know. These are your choices. You can get pickles, tomatoes, or okra. Let me zoom in a little bit so you all can see. I'd love to know what's everybody's starter choice. All right. My sexy is strong. I feel like that isn't a bad thing. We all have our preferences and we shouldn't feel bad about that. Thank you for encouraging me. The, the men are going to get me. I'm not, I'm not so, I'm not bougie. I don't think I'm bougie. Is Maggie bougie? I don't think I'm bougie. <sighs> now I'm feeling a little self-conscious. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Mona's here for fried okra. Okay. That's what I got. I love fried okra. I know country, just country. Okay. Uh, Big Bad Bull is here for the fried green tomatoes. I'm. In, that's how we say I'm in the South. Not tomatoes, tomatoes. So I did find a recipe for fried green tomatoes that I wanted to make. I haven't made it yet. I keep kicking the can down, but Big Bad Bull is voting for fried green tomatoes. Who do we have here? Also from the lead attorney community, the notorious Kevin Brooks. Hello, sir. Saying hello, Maggie, Mona, and scholars. You'll catch the replay on your way out to dinner with friends. I hope you have a delicious dinner. You all please check him out. Kevin also has a YouTube channel as well. Thank you for listening in. All right. Um, Dottie Girl says, does any K? Maybe there's more coming. Okay. What does my sexiest strong say? But admittedly, I can be a food snob. I don't think I'm a food snob. I'm a little bit, if there's anything that I'm a food snob about, and I would love to know what is your food snob category, I am a food snob about tea. I love a good tea service, you all know. I love a variety of teas when they bring the tea box and you can choose between your chamomile and your English breakfast and all of that. If I go to a restaurant, oh my God, this is going to sound horrible, but I'm honest with you all. If I go to a restaurant and I ask for tea and I get tetley, I'm not going to make a face. I will behave, but on the inside, I'm cringing. So I would love to know, what is your category? Some of you all are coffee snobs. I'm not necessarily a coffee snob. I'll drink pretty much any coffee as long as it's good. Um, Some of you all are wine snobs. I'm not a wine snob. I don't really know much about wine. Uh, What other areas can we be snobs about? Um, I don't know dressings, condiments, any of that kind of stuff. But I'd love to know if you all are food snobs, what are you picky about? Who do we have here? My first time seeing here, Valerie. Now, Valerie, your thumbnail has a beard. Hello, Mr. Valerie. But thank you for watching on Facebook. You're more than welcome to be here. Valerie is here. Is that an apple or you brought an apple to the teacher or is that a green tomato? But either way, welcome. Thank you for being here. Ah, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. So good to see you, sweetheart. Sonia's here for fried green tomatoes. Okay. All right, you all. I see that. looks like the tomatoes are winning. So we don't have anybody for the fried pickles. Okay. Good to know. So I did get fried green okra, and I will say I was very pleased with the fried green okra. I don't really eat fried foods, but It was battered nicely. It was fried crispy, had good flavor. I did put a little ketchup on the side, but honestly, you didn't need it. You could have just popped them like little popcorns. It was great. What does Dottie Girl say? Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. You're down to earth, Maggie. You're not bougie. We love our substitute teacher. Well, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. You all keep me humble, especially you, Dottie, and the Christmas slash Halloween cookies. 
However, we're moving on, but um, I do like nice things, but I try to be relatable. So you all help me stay grounded. I don't ever want to get too big for my britches, but we like what we like. Plus, I'm old. I'm 47. So if I don't want Tetley tea, can I have Bigelow or something? <laughs> Valerie says the beard is my nephew. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, all are welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So Hello and shout out to the nephew. All right, let us carry on. All right, so let's move on to if you are going to get, since this menu is small, let's have fun with it. If you're going to get individual pieces of chicken, all right, I want to know, I want to know if he really loves me. How do I know? I get him confused. Is there an I want to know song or am I just thinking the how do I know song? Y'all, you already know. All right, so who's here for the breast? Who's here for the thigh? Who's here for the leg? Who's here for the wing? <laughs> who's here for the tender? I didn't know the tender was a piece of chicken. I am a wing and leg. So if you had to get two pieces of chicken, probably wing and thigh. What are you all's two pieces of chicken? For those of y'all who eat chicken, shout out to the vegan scholars. Forgive me, but tonight is not your night, okay? Okay, so Valerie's here for the thigh and leg. So Valerie's here for the dark meat. Got you, got you. Hello, Black Panther. So good to see you here. Yes, I'm singing Whitney. And Whitney is How Do I Know? But there is an I want to know song that I've heard at one point in my life, but y'all, I make it up as I go. <laughs> oh, I knew it when I asked this question. I knew it when I asked this question. Who do we have here? None other than Centennial G. You all know him and you love him. Another cut up in the community. He is here for the chest plate. And that's what I'll say. Thank you for being here, Sinji. Mona's here for the wing and thigh. I like the wing and thigh too. Black Panther, how do I know if he really loves me? How do I know if dun, 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 dun. Okay, another outburst. Uh, my sexy is strong, says I'll eat any fried piece of chicken except for the chest plate. Absolutely. Oh, Black Panther says, that's Joe. I want to know. How much you dun, 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 Is that the I want to know song? Y'all know I don't know. I'm not cool. You do not come here for cool. Maggie has a lot of skills. Cool is not one of them. Okay, Sonia's here for the leg and wing. And Sonia, make sure I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Is it Sonia with the soft O or Sonia with the strong O? Please help me. Yes, Sinji is already. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay, thank you. See, y'all understand. It's like there's like a soundtrack running through my head at all times. So they just come out. Forgive me. Okay, Black Panther's here for the wing and the thigh. All right, y'all are laughing at me. You already know what it is. Let's move on past the chicken pieces. I see nobody said the tender. We'll leave the tender for the kids, but I like chicken on the bone, right? All right. Oh, thank you. So it's Sonia, Sonia with the soft, soft O. Oh, thank you, my dear, Sonia Ferguson. Yes, and you all, if I'm ever butchering your names, please correct me. I can be corrected. Um, names are important to me. Um, I'll just leave it at that. What does Sinji say? Loving that color on you, Auntie. Thank you. I almost didn't wear it. I got black on underneath like a um, long sleeve, and I was just going to go with the black, but uh, I figured I'd put the blue on still. <laughs> got the pearls for y'all, even though struggle, but how does Atlanta do with Nashville hot chicken? Addicted to that like Bobby loves <laughs> Oh dear. So I had fried chicken today. So this Gus's fried chicken is not to be confused. And that's what their website says with the Nashville hot chicken. I'm sure you can get it here. There are some places that have it seasonal, like how McDonald's has the McRib. Okay. I know bad comparison, but first, thank you for the compliment. Um, 
I don't really go out much because y'all see I cook a lot, but I'll look and see if I can find some Nashville hot chicken for you in Atlanta and maybe accidentally have to go try it. But I have been to Nashville and I have had Nashville hot chicken and I do like it. I do like it. Yes, thank you all for liking the live stream. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh, y'all know Sinji is the cut up in the community, but we love him. We absolutely love him. All are welcome here. So nobody's here for the chicken tender. Leave that to the kiddos. Okay, fine. So now let's look at the plates. So they call them plates. I call them combos, whatever. You can have it your way. All right, so let's see what you get on a chicken plate. A plate includes baked beans, slaw, and white bread. Okay, I'm going to show that I'm not really... How do I say this? Um, can someone explain to me the white bread? I know that's just a Southern staple, but like if you get barbecue, they give you white bread. If you get fried chicken, they give you white bread. How is one slice of bread? You can't make a sandwich out of it. Are you just supposed to like tear it and sop up the grease? Like, I don't understand. So forgive me, but can someone explain to me the white bread slice? I've seen it with barbecue as well. Let's carry on. All right, so don't worry, I'll cover your extra substitutions, all right? So you can get a two-piece breast and wing, three-piece. Two breasts and a wing, Sinji, that's for you. Three-piece wing, ding, 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 this is what I got today. So just letting y'all know I got the three-piece wing meal. <laughs> How is this my life? We're talking about chicken plates, but you know what? I do like to stream for y'all every day and I've been gone, so I wanted to let you know what I've been up to. All right, you can get, for our dark meat lovers, your two-piece thigh and leg. You can get a three-piece, two thighs and the leg. If you're really greedy, you can get a whole half chicken, a wing, a breast, a thigh and a leg, three tenders or four tenders, all right? So who's here for the chicken plate? Who's here for the chicken plate? Hmm, oh dear. Oh dear, here we go. What does Dottie Girl say? I can't wait to see when... <laughs> I will not. I will not. I will not. Never say never. I will try almost anything once. But y'all, I am still... I am still scarred. For anyone who... <laughs> does, I cannot believe that happened. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, let me know and I'll pull up the short. But um, I had a wonderful collab. Was it Monday? Tuesday? I can't remember. One day this week, there is a, another YouTuber and home cooker named Cooking with Aisha, Miss Aisha Williams, Alabama girl. She did a collab with me. I made crab cakes one day this week. And she's got a really, really Southern accent. No, not Southern. I kind of feel like I'm Southern. She's country. And she admits it. I'm a country girl. And I asked her, why did I ask? But I asked her, is there anything that you eat that's kind of like, I don't know, people would be like, ah, oh. she's like, ooh, honey, I like raccoon. I was like, y'all saw my face. I was like, and she says she cooks the whole thing and is sitting up with his teeth out. I was like, why? Why did I ask? I have been like, the image is seared right here. I cannot unsee the raccoon. Can't do it. But you all know she's invited me to like, after the stream, we continue to talk and she wants me to come cook with her, like in her house. Wouldn't that be incredible? Like a collab where we're actually cooking and eating. But what if she makes the raccoon? I know people who have eaten the raccoon and said it's not but I can't do it, y'all. I'm not a raccoon snob, but for me, the gamiest thing that I will eat is like duck, lamb, goat. Y'all can't. Okay, y'all are already correcting me. And here comes Sinji. Why I gotta be white bread? Okay, so clearly I've already missed the mark. It's not white bread. I'm just thinking white and wheat. Forgive me. All right. So Courtney is saying you tear your, so as you're eating your chicken or barbecue, then you would tear off a piece of bread and just eat it. Is that how y'all eat it? Because I ate the whole plate. I know soul food. I, 
I'm going to get there. I'm not a soul food. Um, Y'all know I'm African, okay? My best friend says I'm not really Black. I'm African. So thank you for embracing me. Um, But I ate the plate and then I ate the bread. Was I supposed to eat the light bread as I was eating? Such a confusing thing. Who do we have here? Lisa, the happy housewife, part of the Wives Club. Hello, my dear Lisa. You all, hopefully you were able to see or you heard about, we have started a new channel called The Wives Club, and I'm keeping it separate from the food because it's completely different content, but there are four of us ladies that met in the Kevin Samuels Patreon, and back in 2021, we started getting together every week and reviewing his content to apply lessons learned for ourselves, and so many times people asked us, Uh, mostly men, like other people need to hear this, but for obvious reasons, we wanted to keep it private. But uh, we all met up in San Diego where I know, Dottie girl, you're tired of waiting, but uh, we all met up in person and locked arms and said, you know, are you guys ready to come from behind the scenes? And so we had our first live stream Friday night and uh, getting so much good feedback. I appreciate it. It's not for everybody. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, you know, relationship building and all of that, don't even worry about it. But um, if you're interested in that and you want to learn from those of us who are who have bumped our heads, um, you all know that I always, I always used to feel something whenever Kevin would say, where are the older women to teach the young? And so I booked a session with him and the rest is history. So we are on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. So I'm trying to chop up the video so you all can see some shorts and you can see if it's something that would be of interest for you. If not, that's totally fine. I'm going to be here for you every day, either cooking or talking about somebody cooking. All right. So thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, Courtney says we call it light bread. Okay. Thank you for the correction. So it wasn't white bread. It was light bread. And here comes Lisa talking about she wants me to make air fried raccoon. I'm not doing it. First of all, I don't keep any animal head on. Have you all been to any of those Asian restaurants or even African or Caribbean restaurants where they give you the snapper? My mom used to do that. Like at Thanksgiving, she'd have the whole fish and the head is still on and the eyes are looking at you and you're looking at the, no, I can't do it. You know, we talked about sending food back, but I will send I went to like a Thai restaurant. They had the fish. Let's say it was snapper or whatever fish it was. They made like a circle. So the whole fish animal, they folded it into a circle and made like a bowl out of it. And inside the circle of fish, like the whole animal was the rice and the vegetable or whatever. So you're supposed to like scoop it up and eat it like that. I sent it back to the kitchen. I said, I love it. Please take the head off. He's looking at me and I'm disturbed. So they took the head off the fish. Look, I don't, hmm, I'm not judging anybody's choices. It's just a struggle for me if you're looking at me while I'm eating you. (laughs) So no air fried raccoon. What does Sinji say? Funny thing is on Netflix, they have a barbecue competition show and these... Matalvas. Is that a real word? Do I need to Google it? I'm nervous. Sinji, with the vocabulary, you may bar- barbecue raccoon, possum, and some other roadkill that are. D- <laughs> Y'all, my kid wants to go watch that Megan movie. You couldn't pay me. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm afraid of. That kind of stuff. If y'all were with me in San Diego, you would know. Look, again, not judging. I know there are people all over the world and all over the country. Excuse me. You eat what's local to you. I'm just saying that I'll pass on the raccoon. My sexiest strong said, absolutely not. I'm on delay. So what did I ask a question and I already forgot where you're not having the raccoon looking at you? She said, yeah, cook it just like that. (laughs) Y'all saw it. Oh, you all like my face. You know, my face makes faces. Your face when she mentioned raccoon, because you all see, I pull your comments up and then I read them and then I'm like, y'all know I'm not having a raccoon. 
It don't even sound right. Coming from me? What you make? What are you making for dinner tonight, Mom? We're going to have raccoon. Oh, Lisa says I got to try it for the culture. I have no. Lisa, I think you said you would try it. There's just so many other proteins. Or I'll just be a vegetarian for a day. I just, I'm struggling, y'all. I don't think I can do it. Never say never, though. <sighs> Big bad bull, you're smiling. Oh, yes, Big Bad Bull. And sorry, sir, I finally got you on there as a moderator. We definitely need the air cover from the men. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, so we are uh, KS The Wives Club. So yes, if you are a fan of the late, great Kevin Samuels, then you will enjoy the content. If you were not, and I respect everybody's choices, just stay over here with the snacks. What does Dottie Girl say? You had an amazing week, Maggie. 2023 will be your breakout year. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. From your lips to God's ears. I see a super chat, y'all. We have a stream sponsor. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But first, let me say, Dottie Girl, Thank you so much for saying that. You all know my channel's a year old. I'm a proud student of the lead attorney. And when I heard him say, if you're over 35, y'all know I'm 47, uh, you should start a YouTube channel because you have life experience that people need to know. And I've been cooking since 1842. Do the math. I know it doesn't add up, but you get my point. Um, and I didn't really think anybody would care, but it has opened up so much. And I love the community that we're creating. So last year in 2022, my goal was to build that community and find my tribe of people who enjoy this type of content. Because, you know, I'll be honest with you, y'all know I'm kind of lame and I'm kind of a nerd. And, you know, so if you ain't nobody doing all that, I'm not cooking every day. Okay, fine. So I've just been doing my own thing in silence in a lot of things. And um, just to connect with you all, 2022 was huge. Um, but this year, 2023, my goal is to grow through collaboration. And so I am casting a wide net and uh, <laughs> closed mouths don't get fed, right? So I'm asking and some people say yes. Some people say yes eventually. Some people say yes right away. Some people um, say no, and that's totally fine. Some people will collab for free. Some people want a fee. It's totally fine. But uh, I love being able to expose you all to other things like baked raccoon. Um, uh, but yes, anyway, what does Sinji say? Thank you for the $20 super chat. He says, I'm putting Howard the Duck on the smoker tomorrow. All the mighty ducks been throwing pucks at me all day. Shout out to all the raccoon Looney Tunes that ain't here. Pour out a little henny for the possums. <laughs> I don't have any. I got Walmart water. You see what I mean? Sinji is our cut up. <sighs> Let me put you in the ticker, sir. $20. That is so incredibly generous. You all don't even have to be here. What are we talking about today? Um, let me just make a, a, what are we talking about today? Sorry, y'all. It's been a second. Um, there it is. Today we are talking about, oh, fried chicken. But thank you to the stream sponsor. And the stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest. Super Chat, Cash App, PayPal Stars, Facebook, no, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook Stars, or Instagram Gifts. Uh, you all have helped me monetize my passion for food, and I am so incredibly grateful. I didn't find $20 laying around today, so thank you. Stream sponsor, $20. Sin, Tineal, B. Do I want to know what the G stands for? I'm, excuse me, I'm scared to ask. All right, where are you? There you are. Yes, yes, yes. All right, everyone. Where were we? We were looking at the menu, right? But thank you. Thank you so much, Sinji. I appreciate you. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, sir. Oh, my goodness. Sinji says, shout out to Bruce Wayne. Fried bat rises. I don't understand. I don't know. Is that a Batman thing? 
Lucasley says we used to eat the yummy fish eyes. Here's the thing. My mom and you all know Nana. My family's African. Nana says eat the brain, like the eyes. It makes you smarter. I just can't. Okay. Maybe I'm just a little slow. I don't know. I just, it's a mental block. I admit it. I admit that's a struggle for me. Mona is laughing. Valerie says you can't eat the eyes either. <laughs> okay. Now Lucasley is giving me the, the puke face. Um, oh, okay. Luke Casey, I just saw your email. I'm glad. Ooh, she's cooking for the hubby. What are you making tonight? Who do we have here? My first time seeing here. Hola, senor. Buenos noches, right? Um, Emmanuel CB says, hello. Hi from Mexico. Hola. Uh, what does Centennial G say? B-E-T cuss word for, oh, mother lover. As opposed to Gotcha. Yes. Hello, Emmanuel. Thank you so much for being here. Sometimes I'm going to delay you all, but I see you out. I definitely want to include you in the conversation. My sexy is strong and say no to the raccoon. We got 10 plus sounds in the house. Y'all know him and you love him. Hello, sir. It's late for you too, or early for you. My graphic designer, also part of the lead attorney community, makes this beautiful, beautiful artwork for me. Uh, everybody is snatching him up. He does such great work. So um, all of this stuff, all of this stuff is him. 10 plus sounds. He does it all. I need to get my other logo up here. So thank you for being here. Oh, oh my goodness, what is happening? Dottie girl, what up, Faye? Oh, you're saying hello to each other. Lisa's here for the raccoon. Okay, Lisa, you're in Florida. You're probably closer to Alabama than I am. I want Lisa to try the raccoon for the culture and let us know. I I can't do the raccoon, the frog legs. I can't do alligator. I just, I, I just can't, y'all. I'm sorry. Sinji, thank you. Another $5? That's so generous. He says in New York, they're making bat. Oh, you mean like real animal bat? They're cooking the bats. We're cooking up the bats. Do we have a bat problem? We're cooking bats now? <laughs> are they poultry because they have wings? Or are they mammals? I am so confused. In New York, they're making bat fried rice in the dollar Chinese restaurants. Master Splinter is upset. Turtles attack. Hi. I am so disturbed right now. I had this Gus fried chicken today, but there was a Chinese restaurant that I almost went into. Y'all, it's cold in Atlanta. I was like, ooh, today would be a great day for like soup. But I went to this world famous fried, uh, fried chicken. Let me update um, Sinji at $25 now. Thank you so much, kind sir. I didn't find $25 laying around. Thank you. I think that's what I paid for lunch today. So thank you for my meal. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Y'all don't even have to be here. You can watch for free. You can like, share, subscribe, comment, chat. All of that is completely free and you are most welcome uh, and it helps the channel to grow. And I am so grateful when you go above and beyond like that. And I just want to say another thank you. Um, I feel bad that I missed several of you all uh, during the collabs when I have other people here. I just want to make sure I give um you know, respect their time too. And I see the super chats coming in and I try to shout them out. But if I missed anybody this week where we had Cooking with Aisha, we've had um, Chantel Simone was in the kitchen. I've got a couple more that have agreed to say yes. Well, I mean, agreed to cook. Um, I'm working on a date, but if you all know Ray Mack, he's got a YouTube channel, like 700,000 and a Facebook channel. Ray Mac grilling. So I'm not a grill, soul food, but maybe I need to learn. So we're trying to pin down a date. But thank you all. So apologies if I missed you. Oh, Luke Hazley says, um, Lisa, you are brave. I know. I can't do the raccoon. What is the most exotic food you all have eaten? I would love to know. For me, I'm going with goat. That's all I got. Luke Hazley has had cow brain and fried alligator. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't do it. Yes, y'all know Sinji's comments are the best. That's what I mean. Y'all know he's a cut up. Rat fried rice? Is it rat or bat? I don't know if that's better or worse. The rats in New York that are taking over the subway, they're cooking them up. Come on, Sinji. This has gone from bad to worse. Can we go back to the chest plate? Okay, so bats are mammals. <laughs> I thought they were poultry because they fly. Y'all know I don't know. I'm still stuck on the raccoon. Who do we have here? My first time seeing you here, BJ, BG. You said you're always at Gus's. Okay, today was not my first time, but my first time in a while. Will I go back? Mm. We'll see. We're going through the menu. We're talking about chicken. Uh, and I see the beautiful baby in the thumbnail. I don't know if it's a sir or ma'am, but either way, you're most welcome here. Thank you so much for being here. Who do we have here? None other than Brandon L. Jet. Shout out to the Walmart water. I think I have your flavor today, Brandon, the pineapple coconut. So you all know my calorie-free sparkling water. Um, that's one way that I'm not bougie, right? Keeps me humble. It's not Perrier. What does Brandon say? We still on bats? Like we didn't learn from C-19 enough, huh? I don't know, y'all. I have no idea what that means. Is that something from Star Trek? I don't get out much. All right. Dee Dee says, hi, Maggie in class. Thank you for the trophy. Thank you for the hand claps. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here, Dee Dee. 10 plus sounds. Hello. Okay, y'all. We are going down a sci-fi rabbit hole. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to work my way out of this one. I know I'm a boy mom, but I struggle at the difference between like Marvel and DC. Don't come at me. I make the snacks. Okay. I never said I was into sci-fi. I fell asleep during Avengers. So I don't know much about this stuff. We were talking about exotic animals. I'd love to know for those of you all who have eaten exotic animals, what have you eaten? <laughs> Okay, where are we? Thank you so much, 10 Plus Sounds. You all know him and you love him. Brandon, you said that 10 Plus Sounds made your logo. I need to take a closer look at it. Ooh, it looks like a fancy like crown, like, like uh, what is it? Iron Game of Thrones. It looks very regal. I like it. Like a chest plate, like a crest, like a family crest. Very nice. But yes, you all, please check out 10 Plus Sounds in all seriousness. I don't know if he has any bandwidth left. Everybody is scooping him up. But um, Mona, if you can, drop his channel or I will find it. He has a membership program. You all, the thumbnails, uh, the work that you see. Um, I mean, everything from <laughs> the holiday uh, pictures of me and AV when we're cooking up all, anytime y'all see me do a collab with a professional chef, this is all 10 plus sounds. He did my cooking collab, banana pancakes with Chantel. He did, uh, Miss Raccoon <laughs> cooking with Aisha. Y'all, he is incredible. He is a real graphic designer because you know, I'm not artistic. Y'all have told me I cannot draw. I understand. I have other skills that I try to bring the to the table. I never said I was an artist. Okay. I just make the snacks, but please check him out. And now uh, 10 plus sounds is doing channel consultations. So he'll look at your YouTube channel and if he can give some advice on how um, better thumbnails could improve, uh, check him out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are just blessing me. Here we come. So what does Luke Casey say? Centennial G, my grandma made. Y'all. Okay. It is not proper etiquette to talk about what other people eat. So I'm just going to read this. But Miss Luke Casey says, my grandma made an amazing cow brain soup. I think I would not eat it now, but you liked it growing up. Yeah, we would just goat meat. I can't think of anything else. I know like my aunties would eat snails. I know my mom eats fish heads and fish eyes. Ugh, sorry, y'all. 
What does Brandon L. Jett say? Brandon says, how did we get here, y'all? I don't know. Brandon says, you've had rabbit and you've had beaver. I've heard of rabbit. I've heard it's good. I've never had it. Not that I know of. Beaver. I did not know people were eating beaver. <laughs> but I guess if you live close to the water, look, you know, people eat what's local to them. So, mm -hmm. another $5. Oh, the ticker. Ah, I made you at $25, um, Sinji. So you were at $25 and I'm going to take it down and then put it back. Sinji sends another $5. Such a blessing to me tonight. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. This is really a labor of love for me, y'all. You're so generous with me. Uh, another $5, he says. Rat fried rice in New York. Anyhow, I'm launching my new merch. Sinji is launching merch. I do have Maggie merch. Y'all see me in the kitchen when I have my aprons and kitchen towels and all that. Uh, Sinji has a new merch line. He's selling empty egg cartons. If you want eggs, it's going to be extra. <laughs> okay, so Sinji... With another $5, you are the stream sponsor already. First 20, then five, now another five. Thank you for $30. Oh my gosh. Let me update this. Thank you so much, Sinji. And thank you for the laughs. Rat fried rice. Oh my gosh, y'all. I see more coming. Oh my gosh. I'm so... Mm. I'm never going to get used to it. I'm just forever, forever grateful. Forever grateful. Aww. What does Luke Caisley say? Yep. You, oh, my God. Y'all stop. No. I'm, I'm a softy. I can't take it. Luke Caisley says, yep, you could see the... No. Oh. <sighs> Luke Hazley says, Grandma soup. You can see the white brain floating in the soup. It was good. Look, you all, again, I'm not going to judge. I know in other cultures, you know, meat is expensive and we don't want to waste. And so we use every part of the animal. But I don't think I could eat the brains. Hey, never say never. Mm. I'm wondering the texture. What is brain texture? Is it like a noodle? I don't want to know. Do I want to know? <sighs> I'm struggling. Ugh. Sorry. Mm, brain soup. What does Sinji say? I love you, Auntie. I love you too. And yes, you are all jokes. I know my cut ups. You, Sinji, Wilbert, Class Clown, and Trad Guy Travels is always on red. He says, I'm all jokes. According to Je Jessica Simpson, even tuna flies over the sea. Yeah, I remember that episode. Oh my goodness. The bat question. Yeah, rat fried rice. Yeah, I don't know if bats are birds or mammals. I don't know. I don't know these things. I'm not an animal lover, so I don't get that close to find out. Ah, uh, Brandon says C19 equals COVID. Did I did I not know that? Did I say something? Y'all, I don't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this went left pretty quickly. <laughs> whew, whew. Okay, Luke Hazley says it was rumored that the pandemic was started with a bat soup. I thought it was some, oh, it was a bat that bit a pig, right? Was that it? A pig, pig got bitten by a bat? I don't know, y'all. Oh my God, I'm struggling. Didi said, 
Okay, Dee Dee says I had cow tongue. My aunt made it stew meat. So do you cut it up into like, you know how you eat like uh, beef stew and it has like the square chunks of meat? I've never had tongue before. Oh, daddy girl says my mom boiled a whole pig head once when I was a kid. <laughs> I was still traumatized. I would be too. What if it rolled over in the soup and was looking at you like with the snout <laughs> and the eyes? Sorry. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is horrible. Mr. Moose, so good to see you. Your package is on the way. If you want to see the screen share, we have gone down. I can't even call it a rabbit hole. We are down like a wormhole talking about exotic animals. I'm supposed to be reviewing a fried chicken restaurant, but so good to see you. You know, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Y'all, I'm struggling. Can you imagine pig head being boiled? Y'all, I'm in the South, okay? So, you know those jars that they sell at the um, convenience store with like pickles and stuff? Do they have pig's feet? Aisha cooks it all. If y'all ever go to Cooking with Aisha's page, she has everything. Pig feet, pig ear sandwiches. Oh, my ears hurt. Sorry. Lou Kaisley says, my mom makes the most delicious beef tongue. Oh my God. We eat it with white rice and fried plantains on the side. I'm here for the fried plantains. I know Dottie's tired of waiting, but we did have fried plantain at um, Fogo de Chao. For those of us African Caribbean, it is a, you know, oh, so good. Fried plantain, so many different African recipes. I'll just have the plantains and the rice. I don't know if I could eat the beef tongue. Never say never, though. Mm. Out here trucking. Can y'all imagine if I go down to Alabama and uh, do a collab with uh, Aisha and she brings out all kind of stuff for me to try? Sorry, y'all. I'm struggling. Um, okay. Out here trucking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the $20 super chat. He says, Maggie, Maggie, the benevolent one. Oh, thank you. Keep up the great work. I appreciate you so much. I know you're uh, very heavy on the AV space, and so I appreciate you coming over here. We're supposed to be reviewing fried chicken. We have made a hard left turn at Roadkill Lane. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Wowzers. Wow, y'all are such a blessing to me. Brandon said, yes, 10 plus sounds made my logo. He's working on another for you to wear as apparel. Oh, well, will you wear my sweatshirt? I made it and it's janky, but if you do wear it, take a picture because I'm not a professional. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, Sinji says, you're brave, Luke Casey. I haven't even tried these fancy Rocky Mountain oysters here in Colorado. Bull gonads. <laughs> Let's keep moving on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes, thank you for checking out 10 Plus Sounds. And he also has a Buy Me a Coffee page with his memberships. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah, Donnie says uh, Maggie's nonverbals are so funny. I think that's what Brandon told me. He was like, Maggie, you're nonverbal. I don't mean to, but my face makes faces. I just trust you all. So I bring the comment up and then I read them and I'm like, ooh. All right, I'll try to, I don't mask well. That's one thing about me. I do not mask well. If I'm thinking it, I may not say it, but you're going to see it. Luke Hazley's laughing. Sinji, welcome to the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Dee Dee had cow tongue, and you like it. The, your aunt uh, makes it like stew meat. Oh, I do eat chicken livers. Is that even like, I feel like that's mild. I will eat like organ meat. I'll eat chicken livers. 
the heart and all that other stuff, I don't, but I will eat chicken livers. So I got something. Hello, Edward. My first time seeing you here. Hello, sir. Welcome. He says, frog tastes like chicken. You had it when you were a teacher in Shanghai. Hey, Maggie. Hello, sir. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense. I've heard of frog legs. I've heard their delicacy in, in France and in France. I've been to Paris, but we didn't have frog legs. Um, again, never say never, but Hello, Marie Marie. She says, I'm late. You're never late to my class. Y'all can come late. You can leave early. You can multitask. You can watch with no sound. You can listen with no picture. I'm just happy that you're here. Oh, Marie Marie says, I'm headed to Nashville in a few. Our resident trucker, please be safe. And it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Okay, y'all know that song. I got that one right. Oh, my God. Marie Marie says, I used to eat pig brain and eggs as a kid. And it was great. I think I need a refill. You were supposed to be talking about fried chicken. How did this happen? Sinji, I think this is your fault. You made a comment and then I went with it and now I'm trying to get out. Oh, Brandon. Hello, everyone. I just landed in Germany. Have fun. Um, I was just about to say, do I want anything from Germany? Um, so rude. Uh, glad you landed safely. If you care to share what city. I've been in Frankfurt and I've been in... Is it Frankfurt, the capital? Yeah, I think I've been in... I know I've been in Frankfurt. Yeah, I think that's the capital. Yes. Very tall, like soccer player. Just, yeah, wow. Um, the men and the women. Just... Just... <clears throat> Oh, I can't watch the chat. Oh, is that interesting? It doesn't work when you're in another country, but we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted. Have fun. Um, have some schnitzel for me. I can't really think of anything in Germany. Just the, pre just the precision. Everything was, you know, very, very, and long names, like the street names were like 12 characters per syllable. It's a lot, but I'm glad you're safe. Who do we have here, Red Bunny Classic? Thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Leave the rabbits alone. Yeah, I don't eat rabbit. I've never had rabbit. Um, but thank you for the $2 super chat. Yes, have fun in Germany. Lucasely is laughing. Oh, yes, have fun. Edward, uh, our one and only Brandon L. Jet is in Germany, hopefully for pleasure, not for business. Hopefully you get to kick back and relax and have some quiet time. Luke Hazley, don't apologize, my dear. Y'all, I asked for it. I wanted to know what y'all have eaten. Oh, we talked about the, um, Aisha says she cooks raccoon and she keeps it with the teeth on. Hi, Cigars with Mac. Thank you for being here. If you want to see the screen share, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Edward says, you must mix, you must be mixed with Asian eating brains or adventurous. I've heard that before in Latin cuisine. I just can't do it. When you said the brain floating in the soup, I just, I can't unsee that. I had a visual. Mona's laughing. Yes. Thank you all for liking the live stream. I appreciate that. Bats are vampires. <laughs> Sinji. Oh my goodness. I know. What do we get ourselves into, y'all? We're supposed to be talking about fried chicken. Oh, the pig, the COVID pig bitten by the bat is in that movie Contagion. Oh, did I just make that up? Okay, so that's not what really happened. I know I saw a movie about a pandemic. Maybe it wasn't the real thing. Y'all know, I don't know. Oh, that was a movie. <laughs> y'all, that was a movie <laughs> Contagion. Okay, I told you, pop culture is not my specialty. I don't, I don't get out much. I, I see one thing, and that's just how it must have been. So I apologize. All I do is make the snacks. So clearly, that's not what happened. This is not your source for news and information or anything health related. I am not a doctor. I am not a chef. I am not even a professional YouTuber. What does Sinji say? Oh Lord, a bat and a pig. For those familiar with South Park. <laughs> 
that's man bear pig level here. I don't know about South Park. Oh, I must have missed that episode. I'm going to have to watch it now. Oh, yes. Let's take me back to the plantains, fried plantains. Yes, absolutely. Fried plantains all day. Yes, 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 yes. I think we had those in Costa Rica. Fried plantains with fried white cheese. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, y'all, I do have a picture. Mm, I'm going to show you all something. I'm not authorized to release all of the Fogo pictures, but I have one I'm going to show you. Dottie, this is for you. They brought out this tray. Y'all, we're going to get back to the fried chicken. But they brought out this fried cheese drizzled with honey. Let me give you all a sneak peek. We haven't done the Fogo recap yet. I got to make sure Brandon and Lead approve all of the photos. But I'm going to show you all one of the food. Let me just do a quick little preview. Ugh. And y'all know my, re my recap is going to be mostly food related. But when she brought that tray, I want to tell her, ma'am, you can leave that right here. You can just leave that tray right here. Nobody else has to have it. I'm scrolling through, y'all. Oh, we had fried plantains. Let me show y'all the fried plantains at Foga. Let's see. Let me shop. stop sharing. Struggling. So for anyone who doesn't know, I think everybody knows, but we never know. Uh, plantains are similar to bananas, but they are not bananas. And we fry them up. So let me see. Did I give you all? I'm going to make sure I give you good quality. So this is some of the um, fried plantains that are on the table. So you all can see. You kind of peel them like a banana. In African food, we slice so you know how you, you cut them a bias, and so it's got like a carrot, like the long uh, pointy slices, but they would bring these little appetizers and just set them on the table. We could help ourselves. So fried plantains were excellent. Let me find the fried cheese for you all. That's not what I wanted. Let me bring this back. Oh, my God, y'all, I could talk about food all day, all day, all day. Okay, get it together, Maggie. One moment. So that's your fried plantains. Let's go back and find the fried cheese. Because I was going through the pictures today and they were so good. Where is it? I want to know if he really loves me. How do I know? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, all the bacon. Is this it? No, that's the bacon. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Some uh, Miss Lou Casey said fried cheese, and now I gotta see it for myself. Here it is. Is this it? Oh, okay. I think this is it. I'll have to pause it because she was moving fast. Y'all, the food was so good. Too much of it. Okay, yes. Y'all. So we're going to do the whole thing when we get to the recap, but I just want y'all to see this fried cheese. So they are, you can see we're all at these tables and they just keep bringing in this food. And so she just walked by me and I'm like, excuse me, what was on that? Because there's just so much everywhere. And she's like, oh, it's fried cheese drizzled with honey. And I was like, ma'am, bring that tray, please, right here. So let me show you all. I don't have any sound on it, but I'm just like, what is that? There, cheese and honey. Oh my goodness, what kind of cheese is it? It's a white cheese. Okay. And honey. Looks amazing. So I have to say, what is that? But yes, oh, fried cheese and honey. Look, 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 look. Who wants it? I want it. So it looks like like just big blocks of cheese pan fried in a hot skillet and then drizzled with honey. When I am cleared to do the whole Fogo um, 
recap for you. You all will see more, but you will not see Brandon LJ. Got to make sure that we respect his wishes. So my recap is going to be mostly food related, but uh, Lead and Brandon just need to give me final approval. So, oh, so yummy. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. What is, um, what are y'all talking about here? I need a beverage now. Y'all got me. So Sinji says, help me out, Luke Casey. What's the beef tongue called when you find it on street tacos? It's on point. I have never had a beef tongue taco. For anyone who just hopped in, and Sinji, you're the sponsor, but I'm just so turned around right now. Um, for anyone who just hopped in, we started asking the question about what's the most exotic food you've ever eaten. This is a fried chicken recap. I know it doesn't seem that way, but we will get back to the fried chicken. Oh, Randy says about that fried chicken you tried. Yeah, let's get back to that. Okay, you all. Oh, where were we? Let's go to the menu. All right. Thank you all. That was fun. So let's go. We were on the menu. All right. So we were talking about the different plates that you all would like. And then um, so they have some sides and I want to know, I want to know. So here are your options for sides. This is a very simple menu. I'd love to know what you all would choose. So your side options are, will it let me do this? No. Nah. Okay. You can either have with your chicken plate, you can get baked beans, you can get coleslaw, potato salad, fried okra, greens, I'm assuming they're collard greens, mac and cheese, french fries, a whole jalapeno, ranch dressing, oh, ranch dressing and honey mustard. How is that a side? Those just must be condiments. So I got mac and cheese and fried okra, but I would love to know what you all would get with your fried chicken. Who Kaisley says that is mild. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'd love to know. I'd love to know. All right. So let's keep going down the menu. Um, and then your snack options and your kids' meals. Notice this right here for the beverages. Souvenir cup. I'll just say this. It's not really a souvenir cup. It's the cup you're served in. Put a pin in that. Um, okay. And that's it. So I think this is the picture that I grabbed. So this is Gus's fried chicken. So I know we have someone on from Tennessee where this is originally from. So let me just scroll up. Sorry for the scrolling all, you all. Let's see if we can learn just a little bit about this. Then we're going to look at the plate that I had. One second. So this is Atlanta. Do we have about? All right. So let's learn about Gus's fried chicken in case anybody doesn't know about this place. Let me come a little bit smaller. All right. So this is a nice chicken plate. We got our fried chicken here, mac and cheese and greens. All right. So I'm just going to zoom in because I want to read about this myself. Not the whole thing, but Gus is world famous. So you had me at world famous fried chicken is a full service restaurant serving made to order hand battered fried chicken. And now here's what they say about this Nashville chicken. I think it was Sinji that asked about this. Not to be confused with Nashville hot chicken, we, ser we serve Southern spicy fried chicken. They make all of the sides daily. They shred fresh cabbage for the coleslaw and they cut their own potatoes for potato salad. Potato salad. <laughs> that's what we say in the South. And that's good to know. Some places they just tear open the bag and you get, you know, the contents, but it is nice. You all know fresh is best if you can get it. I'm not a food snob, but you can tell the difference if it's cooked fresh. So that's good to know about the food. Most of our sides tend to be on the sweeter side. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so watch out. Those of us watching sugar today was not a good day. And it pairs perfectly with our chicken. <laughs> enjoy sweet tea welcome to the south a beer or a bottle of Dom Perignon with your meal this place served Dom Perignon Perignon am I even saying it right finish up your meal with one of our simple southern pecan chest sweet potato or chocolate chest pies baked daily this is where it went south for me I did order dessert I did not have a great experience I'll save that. We'll talk about the food first. I did like the food, but right. All right. 
Gus is re is the current reigning champion of the National Fried Chicken Festival. Did you all know they got a fried chicken festival? The chicken was very good, but I didn't know they were champion chicken. Good to know. Okay, the Travel Channel has ranked Gus's Chicken as the 12th tastiest restaurant in America to chow down. And GQ Magazine, shout out to the men. There were a lot of men in there. I did feel, I won't say I felt out of place, but there were like young men, older men, men in suits, men in overalls. I think that says a lot. There were just a lot of men in there. So this must be a place that you all like to enjoy your chicken. GQ Magazine believes Gus's is one of the top 10 restaurants in the world. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Wow. I did not know that, y'all. I'm almost feeling bad. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Maybe I am a food snob. All right, so I won't read all of this, but 60 years ago is in Mason, Tennessee. Somebody built fried chicken that could unite a community. Okay. So there's a whole history about the chicken and the family recipe, Memphis. Okay, I'll have to read all this one day. But So this is um, Tennessee chicken, but I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. And... Um, I was at the Atlanta location and it was, let's see where they are, pretty much in the South. So again, enjoy your Dom Perignon with your chicken. All right, so that's the menu. As you all can see, it's very basic. We're gonna move over to my pictures now. Um, let me see what you all are doing in the chat. Hopefully we've come up from the nether regions of food and uh, we're going to go take a look at what I actually had today. What does Sinji say? Oh my goodness. Casa Bonita is real. You go for the experience. It's the Disneyland of Mexican food. Okay. Uh-oh. Sinji says, watch out. Bill Cosby loves that song. If it's cold, get a parka. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't know. I'm scared now. Yes, Marie Marie, please be safe on the road. Lucy said, Miss Lou Casley says, rabbit tastes like chicken with a little gamey taste. I can I can see that. Is it kind of like duck tastes like chicken with a little bit gamey? I might be able to do rabbit. Never have. I'm not craving it, but mm. Miss Lucy says you use the entire cow out of necessity. That's what people do. You don't want to waste. Yikes. Oh my gosh, y'all are still talking about the uh, restaurants. Okay, fantastic. Good evening. Living out loud. You just walked into, I don't know what you just walked into. I asked, I did it. I asked what's the most exotic thing y'all have eaten. And we went down a very dark path. What does Randy say? Oh, uh -huh, you're a chef to me. Are you on Food Network? Not yet, but you're good. Thank you for saying that, Randy. I appreciate that. I try. I enjoy and I like the presentation because we all eat with our eyes first and I try every day to get better. So thank you for the compliment. What does Miss Lou Casley say? Oh, fried rac the air fried raccoon. Yeah, Lisa started that. Mm hmm. Yes, for the plantains. Luke Hazel, yeah, you slice them. Yeah, at Fogo, they, they brought out the whole thing. But yes, uh, the African way, we slice them as well and fry them up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Dottie Girl says, what did the cheese taste like? It was so good. So the fried cheese at Fogo that you all saw, it was sweet and savory. So um, it was soft and fully as a mozzarella, a little bit denser. I'm trying to think. Thing. Think of like, um, not a provolone, but a thick, almost like a white cheddar. It had a little bit of structure to it. It wasn't just kind of dissolved because you could see in the squares it kept its shape. And it had a little char, that little crust on it. And then they drizzled with honey. So it was like, the, like a melty pizza cheese without tomato sauce. And then the sweet honey. I know. I know you're tired of waiting, but yes, we're going to talk all about that when we do the FOGO recap. Luke Casey says, I'd be 500 pounds if I ate like that every day. Hence my problem. Y'all, we're supposed to get the rest of this weight off and I keep eating. Ha ha ha. Sinji says, I'm telling them to season the food out here at the next meetup. 
<laughs> Sinji, you're out in Colorado. I've been to Denver. It's very clean. Actually, I've been to Fort Collins. Um, but I think I flew into Denver. So uh, Sinji wants to make sure that the food is well seasoned. Lead attorney has said that he's going to do two meetups this year, one in Vegas and one in Colorado. So uh, Sinji is going to make sure the food is, w is well seasoned. Who do we have here? $10 from Randy. Thank you so much, Randy Johnson, for the $10 super chat. He says, now why you had to show that, ma'am? Now I got to go to Fogo. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, right? Yeah, it was good. Oh, just you wait. For my meditarians, and I know that's not a word, subscribe and turn on your notifications. When I'm cleared to show you all of the pictures, wait until you see the Fogo meal. That alone should be a stream. 16 different meats circling around. 16. God, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, Centennial's here for the jalapeno mac and cheese. Oh, y'all are just saying hello to each other. Oh, yes, yes. Out here trucking wants to see Luke Casey on the Wives Club. On the Wives Club. Uh, absolutely, Luke Casey. We can talk offline. Um, if, you know, we've talked about you, actually, the ladies and I, as far as, you know, bringing you on. Um, so grateful. You all, please check out Luke Casey. She also has a YouTube channel, part of the lead attorney community. And those of you all that are Kevin Samuels fans, you know, he shouted out Luke Casey all the time. She's such a supporter in this space. And she actually had a collab with me, I guess, a couple of weeks ago now, uh, where we talked about um, femininity and it kind of led into the so much other stuff, my Patreon and, and everything where I'm passionate about etiquette and elegance. Um, but yes, uh, there's four of us in the Wives Club, but we definitely want to bring up people and spotlight people. We do have a series, Where Are They Now? So if you all ever called into a Kevin Samuels show and you want to give an update, we'd love to have you. If you ever booked a session with Kevin like we did and uh, he helped you, we'd like to showcase that if you want to share. Our next stream is this coming Friday. We're going to be streaming once a week for you all. And we're going to, talking, we're going to be talking about have your relationship muscles atrophied. Mm. So for anybody who has no idea what we're talking about, um, I was just convicted every time I heard Kevin Samuel say, where are the older women to teach the young? So we've been doing it for a few years in his Patreon. And we're finally outside. Uh, so thank you all for the support. <laughs> Living Out Loud says the wangs look tasty. Yeah, that's what I had today, chicken wangs. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Luke Casey says, yeah, those of us who either met with him or, um, cause you know, Kevin never really shared as he shouldn't, right? I mean, he said who he meets with ironclad, you know, privacy. So we're just out here saying it was me. It was me. This is, it was me. This is what we learned, but it's for the whole community. Everybody is welcome. So we're definitely going to bring you in. Maybe we'll see Luke Casey. We got some ideas. All right. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm behind. Let me get caught up, then we're going to go look. Lucchese says, oh, where's that contest? Did I mention a contest? Yeah, neighborhood location. Yeah, that's where we're getting Don Perignon, right? Hey, the common sense expert. Thank you so much for being here. Qual 328, thank you so much for being here. If y'all want to see the screen share, find Maggie on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. What does Sinji say? to be a southern tradition a chicken festival exactly right who else of course it's in the south i'd be clucking like a bird all day now that i would do some damage fried chicken stop me now i'd stay away because i'd be like sherman clump afterwards yeah y'all chicken wings and they are finger food and you are to eat them with your hands if you're served finger food so i did i know Ooh, lou casey you're gonna put that festival in your bucket list i'll share with you all I just booked my flight and my Airbnb. Um, you all know AV and you love her and you know she's in New England. She's been down here to Atlanta to cook twice with me. I am going to Boston in March. They have a restaurant week and she wants to take me around um, to Mastro's, which is one of Kevin's favorite restaurants, but then also um, 
Boston and New England is known for its seafood and chowder and all of that. So if I can focus and get some more weight off, I'll enjoy myself. But yes, stay tuned. That is my dream, you all. I want to travel the world and have all of these experiences and bring them back and share them with you all. Uh, so yes, I will be in Boston. And uh, I believe oysters are in my future if AV has it her way. <laughs> yeah, you got to fast. So I'm going to po probably be fasting tomorrow. I'll be cooking for the kids all week. Mm. Yes, yes. Kevin always spoke about you, Luke Casey. I mean, those of us who learned from him, you know, whether it was one on one, uh, I just, I never commented because y'all know. Um, yes, we're definitely going to include Luke Casey. Absolutely. And Luke Casey, you're already a moderator. I believe so. Um, thank you all. Thank you so much, uh, Mona, for the Patreon, the $1 Patreon, the Maggie merch. No egg cartons. Uh, yeah, he was wonderful. Thank you all for sub subscribing. Air fried raccoon. Oh, is that it? The queso blanco? That was the cheese? Uh, queso fresco? Yes, fried cheese. I've never been to Texas Day Brazil. Absolutely. Out here trucking. Don't you don't you worry. We're going to get Luke Hazley on the panel. We're going to get Luke Hazley on the panel. We need it. All right. So let's, let's take a look at the uh, pictures. Finally got to the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we looked at Gus's restaurant menu. You all can see it's a chicken shack. <laughs> Very <laughs> humble. Um, so now let's look at what I had. Okay. So that's how we do here on our dining documentaries. Let me go back to my album because we're still looking at fried cheese over here. So I went to, you all know Maggie wears many hats besides, you know, working and cooking and, and all that stuff. I do have a fragrance business. I've been a Scentsy consultant for a while and uh, we have conferences a couple times a year where the new stuff comes out. So it was at the Sheraton Hotel in downtown Atlanta. The hotel restaurant was only open for breakfast and dinner. So we had a lunch break and that's why I walked up the road to Gus's Fried Chicken. I didn't intend to eat off my plan. I was forced. No. All right, so not a whole lot of pictures. We'll be done in about 20 minutes, you all. Let you have your evening. Thank you all so much for being here. All right, so you all know me. I'm always taking pictures for you. Hopefully the videos come through. Oh, no, struggle stream. Is it going to come up? All right, so I had to park off site because valet was full. So I'm walking up to the Sheraton. So this is the hotel in downtown Atlanta. There's several of them. No big deal. They do have a restaurant. It just wasn't open. So this is me uh, getting the new catalog. Yay. So this is what I was doing. Nothing to do with food. So we're doing our stuff, having fun, and then it's time for our lunch break. So I move uh, downtown. Um, it was literally a block away. And I walk in and they got the chalkboard menu. And you can see they got a special. And the special is the two breastplate. So this is the Sinji special. So the $12 breastplate, or as lead attorney would probably call it, the chest plate. Uh, so you can see, please wait to be seated. We got our Atlanta United. So $12.25 plus tax. So Sinji, there, your plate is ready, okay? Oh, E. Capone, thank you so much for being here, sir. He says, uh, hello, I remember meeting you at the meetup, Maggie. Oh, thank you so much. It's so good to see you in here. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm waiting for clearance to do the full meetup recap, and we'll look at all the snacks. But thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Yes, the Sinji special, y'all know what it is. Let's carry on. All right, so I took a little picture of the menu. Now, first of all, notice, okay, y'all. You're going to call me. I'm not a snob. I don't think snob. So when I walked in, you can tell it's very rustic and they had wooden tables with the checkered table cloths. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was very diner s. Okay. You see, I take a little picture around. So let's, let's take a look at all the things that stood out to me as I went in. First of all, I came by myself because I was there for my lunch break from this conference and um, I waited to be seated and they asked me, you know, if I wanted to sit at the bar, fine. There was a man over here and a man over there and a lot of men in there. So apparently this is a <laughs> men like to go chicken shack. Simple. Um, so I go up to the 
bar. You can see it's nice and rustic, wooden, you know, very uh, rustic. And so the menu is two sides laminated. Okay. So no booklet, no QR code. That's fine. That's fine. And then the silverware or plasticware. Are y'all noticing over here? I have the uh, pop-up napkins and plasticware. Okay. Okay. I'm at a chicken shack, so I'm kind of noticing the vibe in the place. Now, again, I Googled, since I'm at the Sheraton, what to eat close by. There was a Mexican place, there was a Chinese restaurant, and then it said Gus's world famous chicken. So I'm thinking if you're world famous, oh, we about to be doing it. Okay. Centennial G says, make way for the bird, make way for the bird. Yes, yeah, Sinji's here for his plate. Mm -hmm. Mona's laughing, so y'all already see. So Maggie comes in with the Michael Kors coat and the bag and whatever. And I said, oh, it's fine. It's fine. You all let me know. I'm trying to stay, you know. Okay. So I sit down at the bar and she asked me what I'd like to drink. And uh, I asked for half, I know y'all, half sweet tea, half lemonade, uh, half and half. Uh, Arnold Palmer, whatever you all call it. So this is a half sweet tea and half lemonade. So she brings me my beverage. And this is the souvenir cup. So no glass. No tall plastic clear tumbler. All beverages come in a souvenir cup. Apparently they don't do dishes. You either take the cup with you or they toss it. So I got my sweet tea and lemonade. It was very tasty. And I'm looking on the cup and it says, what does it say? If you haven't eaten at Gus's, you haven't eaten fried chicken. So they're advertising to me on the plastic cup. That's fine. I got the laminated menu. I got the wooden bar. We got the kitchen station in the back and the souvenir cup. <laughs> Sinji says it's a Waffle House cup. Yes. World famous chicken. Y'all saw the menu. They have won at the chicken festival. Laminated menu, plastic wear, and a souvenir cup. You all let me know if I'm out of line. Mona is looking. Oh, Felicia says y'all call it an Uptown. Okay, we call it an Arnold Palmer. I love that. Hello, Felicia Hoskin. So good to see you here, sweetheart. She says we call that an Uptown. An Uptown. Okay, perfect. The beverage was excellent. You could tell it was freshly brewed sweet tea, not instant. It was a great balance. I was very pleased with the beverage. Yes, I did drink out of a straw. Not supposed to, but I wasn't tossing all that back. Oh, goodness. What does Centennial G say? Auntie needs glasses. Exactly, y'all. I'm taking all these etiquette and elegance classes, and they give me the souvenir cup. Carry on, Maggie. All right, so I'm turning around my cup. Coca-Cola, welcome to the South. So I'm at my Gus's famous fried chicken. So this is the cup. I've had my beverage. This is the cup. <laughs> exactly. Dottie, you understand. This, please, is a world away from the heavenly dessert place you visited in San Diego. Exactly. Exactly. Where is my Polynesian flower? And y'all remember the princess cake? And y'all have seen the tea services that I've been to one time in a row. That's what Maggie has been exposed to. Now I'm at Gus's world famous fried chicken with the souvenir cup. Where did it all go wrong? Let's carry on. Okay. Thank you. You all understand me. I'm still a humble girl, but Okay, carry on. All right, notice the kitchen. I'm just going to pan around. So they're cooking it up in the back. They got the chicken. They're cooking. They're working. You know, hey, it's um rustic. <laughs> Waffle House cup. <laughs> Sinji, this is a chicken shop. We are not frying rats, okay? What is wrong with you? But yes, yes. So you all... I just, oh, sorry, something just came through. 
I just left San Diego. Y'all saw Fogo. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Okay, so they're cooking it up in the back. We got the beer cans up top. Heineken, I guess they sponsored. We got the, the sink station. You can get your pies for $4. Pick it up. Hey. Okay, let's keep. I panned around. Okay. Got your hot sauce. Got your lights. You got the game going for you. Okay, so got your salt and pepper. They're working. They're doing the thing. Look to the left. Look to the right. We got our COVID precautions here. I took a quick little pan around so you all can see here. All right. So we got our wooden chairs. We got our, you know, very, um, oh, we got our red option or green option checker tablecloth. I hope y'all aren't judging me, but I did just leave San Diego. So you can see we got the, the dudes working. We got the dudes, you know, on their lunch break. So, yes. Okay. Oh, at least they have Louisiana hot sauce. Yeah, I didn't even need it. The, the chicken was excellent, honestly, y'all. In all seriousness, I didn't even need hot sauce. The chicken was flavored very well. I'm a little bit of an ambiance girl. If you think I'm kind of snobbish, I don't intend to be, but I didn't know what I was walking into. And I read online, world famous chicken. I'm thinking, oh, we are going to the creme de la creme. I'm going to be able to stream and tell my scholars about this great chicken place that I went to. World famous. We got the lights flashing, everything. <laughs> oh, no. Connie Girl says, like, looks like they hire folks from the nursing home. There was somebody in the back. He kept looking at me. And the creepy thing is like he was frying chicken. He was just looking at me like he didn't even break my gauge. You know how you like, and then you look away and then you look back and he's still <laughs> chicken. All right, let's carry on. Sinji says, Co not COVID-23. Stop it. I felt safe. I'm vaxxed and boosted. All right. So now I've ordered, I already told you all what I ordered. I ordered the three wink three wing plate with mac and cheese and okra. So here it comes. Now, anybody notice, does any, I'm gonna let y'all see. I'm turning it around. Does anybody notice anything that might make Maggie say, I'm in a world famous chicken shop. Does anybody notice? I know I'm on delay. So we got our okra, we got our mac and cheese, we got our light bread and three wings. Does anybody notice? Yes, Miss Lucy, it is sandwich bread, but with the ambiance, does anybody notice what, uh, yes, God. Randy, not only paper plate, styrofoam plates and not only styrofoam plates but like the buy in bulk styrofoam plates not even the what is it hefty or dixie the ones that are like you know kind of nice even the ones that look like plates but they're not plates y'all i got a styrofoam plate <laughs> So I'm it all in. Let me turn off the sound. Okay. I don't know what this says about me, but I've come to the world famous chicken place. <laughs> I was like, what is this? God, y'all. You understand? I thought it was just me. Okay, what are y'all saying? Oh my God. Yes, we got the light bread. Y'all still figuring that out. The paper plate. <laughs> Sinji says the chicken is moving. The chicken was excellent. That was the least of my concerns. But the presentation, the paper plate, you have won the chicken festival. First place in the chicken festival. GQ Magazine says you are one of the best places in the world to eat. Travel Channel says you're top 13. I have come to bring my scholars an experience. 
on the 99 cent Costco plate. At least now we know why it was called a souvenir cup. The cup was sturdy. Okay. So we're going to talk. I'm, I'm glad you all are feeling me. Yes, we're going to talk about this shredded cheese. I was disappointed with the mac and cheese. I'm not going to lie. And I didn't want to like, y'all know I already walk into the spot like this. <laughs> they already look at me crazy. And, you know, they had the workers in the back doing their best. And look, I've been a short order cook for these kids, so I understand. But um, you could tell that the okra was prepared fresh. You could tell that the mac and cheese was not. And that's really a shame. It came out of a very big like squeeze bag. And then they just sprinkled some um, shredded cheese, hoping by the time it got to you, it had melted down and put some paprika on there to make it look um, good. I should have just ordered a chicken plate with, with okra, maybe some other sides, but uh, I was disappointed. But you know what? You can't be all things to all people. Maybe they focus on the chicken, but the mac and cheese left me wanting more. And I don't get to eat mac and cheese. And when I do, I want it to be so good. So yes, yeah, so you all are noticing the paper plate <clears throat> at the world's best chicken place. Family Dollar Special. <laughs> what are y'all saying? It's bad enough they give you a slice of light bread. Right. I don't even know what to do with the bread. Is it just to sop up the grease? They get the chicken out of the fryer and they put, is that the paper towel? Or is it like, you know how you um, order food and you're like, is this a garnish or am I supposed to eat it? Exactly, Sinji. At least get the reinforced plate. They ain't washing no dishes, y'all. Who do we have here? Saw him at the meetup. Hello, Condemnia says... That's exactly what I'm looking at. Why they do that to the mac? Because the mac and cheese, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. The chicken, 10 out of 10. The chicken was excellent. If you like a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, it was very unique. The chicken was fried to perfection. The mac and cheese, 5 out of 10. I, I just, I was very disappointed. What is my sexy and strong, is strong saying? Not sure how I feel. Y'all are really disrespected by the shredded cheese. Yes. Yes. So, okay, I'm going to try. I think I got one more video at the back so you all can see. But literally, I saw they had like a big bag that, you know, you cut the end off of it, squeeze the mac and cheese out of, and he would like scoop it out, sprinkle some cheese and put some paprika on it. So by the time it got to you, hopefully it was melted. So when you put your fork in it, you kind of got that cheese pulled. Oh my gosh, y'all are going in. What does condemn you say? Oh, why they do that to the mac? Yeah, y'all are disrespected by the mac and cheese. What does Sinji say? Is that carrot sauce on the mac and cheese? No, it's paprika. They wanted to give it a little color. What you really should have, like a proper baked mac and cheese. Y'all remember I did that mac and cheese with AV. It was actually really good um, when you have cheese inside and cheese on top. But if you bake it, you all know you get that cheesy brown, just like we saw on the fried cheese. You get that nice easy brown. You can tell it's been oven baked. This was probably microwaved and squeezed out. Dottie girl, look at how she just set it down. Dottie girl said the way they slapped the plate on the table. Okay. So I am at the front. I'm sitting at a bar. The cashier is my waitress. So she's getting to me when she can. Um, I don't even know what to say. Um, but you all, I'm a little bit of a kind of like, oh, tell me what we have here. Because, you know, I'm recording. I want them to, I want them to say. So you've got three chicken wings fried to perfection with our sweet and spicy sauce with a Gruyere mac and cheese topped with cheddar. Like, that's what I want. Like, give me something for my scholars. I think I got crickets. Thank you. What can I get for you, sir? So they yell and pick it up. So yeah, you just get it where you fit in. We're at the chicken shack, okay? Yes, the plate was bad. All right, let me take y'all off of that. All right, so what else happened? So I ate, like I said, the chicken was excellent. 
excellent. So now I'm ready for dessert. So turn the menu over. On the front half, it's the chin. On the back half, it's desserts and beverages. Okay, so we're ready for that. So you all can see here. Did we talk about desserts when we were looking at the menu? Sorry, we got down the rabbit hole. Okay, so you can see here you have your choices of dessert. Do I need dessert? No, it's for research purposes. So here are your choices, and I want to know what you all would have. Chess pie, excuse me, chocolate chess pie, coconut pie, pecan pie, or pecan pie, and sweet potato pie. Plus, ice cream is two thirty-five. dollars I didn't ask for ice cream. She put that on there on, on purpose. Hello, party panda. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to see the screen share, find Maggie on YouTube, uh, Facebook, or Twitter. So I want to know what you all are picking for dessert. Lou Casey says, yeah, the shredded cheese should have melted. The mac and cheese was not cold, but the cheese probably just came out of the fridge. So they were using the radiant heat from the mac and cheese. Um, it was it was OK. But the okra was good. What does um, uh, Mona say? Yeah, the okra looks like it's busting. The okra was very good. You could tell that that was cooked and fried up fresh. What does Sinji say? That cup was forged in <laughs> Dollar Tree paper plates. Dottie Girl says the, the wings look too fried. Okay. Yeah, Velveeta. It wasn't, it wasn't um, like a, I don't know. When I make, I don't make it often, but I can make like the Southern mac and cheese with like sour cream and cheddar and like all that. Yeah, this wasn't real cheese. What does Sinji say? You'll learn next time, Maggie. Get the Sinji special. What were your side items? Did you tell me? And what are y'all choosing for dessert? Dee Dee's laughing. Felicia says, how much was that meal? I think it was 12. Well, how much was the three the three piece? Let me look for you. I got the three piece wing. It doesn't have prices on here. I paid like $25 for everything. It came to like 20 bucks. So maybe it was like 12 because then I got a drink and dessert. Ah. <sighs> Okay, you all are talking to each other. Hello, Linda with the love notes. Thank you for being here. Sinji, I don't even know, and I don't know if I want to know. Let's carry on. Um, so I, eat, I ate my food. I did eat it. You all saw it. I was a little bit, but it's okay. So now I'm ready for dessert on the back side of the laminated menu. And I asked the waitress to make the server, the cashier, to make a recommendation. And this is what I got. So I don't know if anybody knows what chess pie is. Okay, so here's the issue that I have. <clears throat> Besides, does anybody see anything with the presentation that could be a concern for me? You all know Maggie. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this right here. So I ate the chicken. Chicken was great. I ate my food. No complaints. Presentation. Hmm. I asked her what dessert she recommends. She said either the sweet potato pie or the chess pie. I said, oh, I've never had chess pie. Can you explain? She said, oh, it's so good. It's like a brownie in a pie crust. I said, I'll try it. So you all saw the kitchen. So I'm sitting at the bar. So I can see everything happening in the kitchen. I'm going to go back to the kitchen menu. I mean, kitchen picture. Well, I'll just describe it. So I'm watching what's happening. Exactly. Exactly. Mona, you got it. Look at my cutlery for my dessert. It's the little things, you all. I mean, you could have wrapped it in a napkin for me, but it's fine. Not really, but okay. So a smaller Dollar Tree special. But here's what bothered me. <clears throat> and I am not a proper chef. But restaurants, we were even like this at Coke. Restaurants that cook their food pride themselves on not even having microwaves in the kitchen. There are some restaurants like Burger King that will microwave. Um, but if I'm paying for a meal, I would like for it to be prepared fresh. I could see them frying the chicken in front of me. That was del delightful. So when I asked for dessert, the cashier went behind 
She went somewhere and she came out with the Dollar Tree special plate. She put it in the microwave, closed the door, pressed the button. And I'm like, is that my pie? Are you microwaving my pie? I'm sorry, y'all. I've never worked as a server, so maybe I don't know. But I'm thinking like, if I'm getting warm pie, the pie is like freshly baked and you're cutting it. The pie was microwaved. And you all know when you microwave anything, the texture changes. So unfortunately for me, I did not like the dessert. I ate the ice cream, but the chess pie was kind of like gooey and soggy. And you microwave the, the pie crust. It was no longer sturdy and crispy. And then you stuck a spoon in it like that. So I was disappointed with dessert. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to love it, but watching the microwave, at least lie to me. At least don't have the microwave in full view. I'm going to show you all. You probably missed it the first time, but I'm sitting at the bar and I'm watching you microwave my plate. <sighs> you all know, like if I were to ever cook for you, I want to give you the best experience. She don't know who I am. I'm just regular, but maybe this is why <laughs> I don't know the many there. It's not lard, Sinji. It's chocolate chess pie. What does Kademia say? They might take it as a slight, but it would be a bad, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to offer your services to step their side dish game up, Miss Maggie, or their side's pretty good. Okra was excellent. I would give the okra like a nine out of ten. I would like bigger pieces of okra. They were a little bit small, but flavored well and uh, fried up nicely. The mac and cheese, five out of 10. It was not made in house. And they were opening the packages and microwaving like in plain view, at least do it in the kitchen, at least lie to me. <sighs> yes, they stuck the spoon in the pie. Mona's laughing. Oh, Donnie! Is this what we do in section eight? Y'all, I just left this beautiful, if y'all missed it, I just left this beautiful dessert restaurant in San Diego. And then came to Section 8. Oh, yeah, Randy, I feel the same way. They say, eat it up. Y'all, they were hollering. Not only were there paper plates and souvenir cups and laminated menu. And look, you can see the light of the, um, <laughs> look up here, the straw. Look in this area when you put my plate down, like the strobe lights of the uh, whatever that is, the light board. It was just a lot. And then from the back, when people would come in the restaurant, y'all guiding in, y'all taking out. Like I'm trying to eat. They're yelling over top of me. It was just so in a world. You won the chicken festival. I mean, Get from in living color. Exactly. Pick it up. Pick it up. Centennial G says, um, you got to visit, visit Section 8. So shout out to the Walmart water and the Section 8 chicken. Victoria says, you just dropped it in my have had a time. So I went to this world famous fried chicken joint in Atlanta. I should have known, y'all. I should have known. So this was my best pie that she microwaved. Lisa said, not the microwave. So she probably just went in the fridge and got a piece of pie and microwaved it, scooped some ice cream next to it and stuck a spoon in it. Like just the presentation alone. <laughs> Y'all are dead laughing at Sinji. Section 8 chicken. Randy's laughing. Exactly. Exactly. Condemnia says, if I go to a restaurant and they're bold enough to microwave my food right in front of me, I'm going to feel some type of weight. That's what I mean. Lie to me. When I tell y'all, okay, y'all are with me. We're going to go back and look at the video. What does um, Felicia say? Child, y'all was at a greasy spoon. I was like, do y'all know who I am? I'm Maggie. You know I'm going to be reviewing this, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Lisa says, you love Atlanta places like this. Mm. Okay. Mona's laughing at Felicia. Randy says, more like the ghetto fabulous. Uh... <laughs> Brandon says, what is this place so I can avoid it? Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken. I know we had a Tennessee girl in here and she said that was the original place. Brandon, you were with me at Fogo. Condemn you. You were with me at Fogo. Can you imagine? I just left San Diego and now I'm at <laughs> Section 8 Chicken. It's not Kentucky Fried Cat. You know what I think it is? They focus on the chicken, nothing else. And I mean nothing else. Not the presentation, not the sides. You get what you get. Pick it up. Let's carry on, y'all. <clears throat> so I didn't eat. So this is my pie. So you all can see here. So look, look at what happened to the pie after she microwaved it. <clears throat> so you can see I turned the plate. The spoon is at attention <laughs> because it's stuck in my pie. Proper etiquette. I should have been given a fork and a spoon, maybe actually real cutlery, but you know what? I will eat my pie with a spoon. At this point, it is what it is. Sit chill with no fried raccoon. Brandon. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is horrible. Okay, again, I'm a food snob, but you have microwaved my dessert in front of me. Strike one. Strike two, the silverware is at attention. Okay, so I got to remove my silverware from the food. Oh, not even silverware, plasticware. Strike three, so she has microwaved my dessert. Look at how the pie is just like melting. And then look at the crust, how it's kind of soggy. You ruined the pie. It might have been good, but by the time I got it and then you put the ice cream on there, I didn't ask for it a la mode. That's fine. Take the $2.35. My community has me, okay? You all have blessed me with $2.35, but maybe I needed it because I ate the uh, ice cream. I did not eat the pie. Linda says the pie looks sick. Has anybody ever had... She recommended this chocolate chess pie. I've never had chocolate chess pie. So for those of you all who have, maybe I should Google it. Is this what it's supposed to look like? What does Lisa say? Yes, you get what you get. You've learned the hard way. Daddy girl, dining table? Is that what we're calling it? I was at a tree trunk. Have you seen the bar? The dining table looked completely chipped and battered. Y'all saw that too? Maggie must have been Maggie must have been, y'all, you know, I always try to represent you well. I try to represent myself well. I always try to be like from the carpool to the kitchen. That's my capsule wardrobe. So a nice sweater. I have my bag. I have my nice coat. I'm at the Sheraton Hotel. I go one block to this world famous chicken place. And I was so excited to come here and tell my scholars all about this amazing chicken experience. And then I ended up in section eight. Lisa says, don't say nothing. Just live another day. Y'all are laughing. <laughs> Brandon. Brandon, yes. Look at what they served me with. Look at what I'm eating on and look at what I'm eating with. And I'm paying for this. This is like the backyard barbecue. Not that there's anything wrong with this, but do y'all think less of me? I feel like we're aligned because... Brandon says, wait, I'm late. Is that a Dollar General plate and plastic where he said 12 thumbs down? Yes, y'all. Here's the thing. If I'm at a backyard barbecue, absolutely. If I'm at somebody's little food truck, absolutely. But you have advertised that you have the, the website, Gus's World Famous Chicken. Travel Magazine has shouted, Travel Channel has shouted you out. GQ Magazine has shouted you out. You have won the chicken festival. <laughs> okay, Mona says you have had chess pie, but you don't know about this one. See, that's the problem. She microwaved it, so I don't know. Is it supposed to look like this? Y'all are laughing. Y'all are laughing. 
Oh, what does Victoria say? You were given cold, cold. You mean a cold creme brulee and asked them to take it back and I'd still pay for it. They took it off my bill anyway. When you have the real thing, you don't want anything else. Yeah. I don't know. I've never had chess pie. She said she recommended it. Not a great experience for me. I am roasting the dining table. Did y'all see that? Yes. Did y'all see that? We're going to go back and see. Y'all need to see. It was not a table. It didn't have a tablecloth. It was like a tree trunk. Lisa, no. If anybody saw the movie The Help, Sinji says, did they take the sales tax off? <laughs> We're still talking about raccoon. Oh my gosh. Brandon says, this is pathetic. Oh my gosh, y'all. Centennial. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, I was disappointed at the pie. Okay, so I turned the plate around. I'm just showing you all what I got. Um, I was very disappointed because, you know, I'm a big texture girl. For me, for a pie, I want like a nice, I want it warm, but I want it oven warm, right? So it has that nice crust and then the, the, the pie crust should be flaky. It just, I, you probably, don't look too close. You'll get that, uh, that plastic spoon in your eye. Yeah, I had my best creme brulee was in uh, Paris at the Louvre. Oh, God, so good. And if Wilbert's still with us, y'all know I've tried to make it. I can make it. It's just simple ingredients. It's just a little struggle. The text, the technique is a little tricky. So, yeah, really disappointing. <laughs> that was me. That was me. So notice the tables behind me. At least they had tablecloths. So you all can see the little wooden chairs, little tablecloths. I'm sitting at the bar. Disappointed. Looks like it's a week old. Ooh. Yeah, that was my chest pie. Okay, so this is my view. And yes, of course, I still, of course, paid and tipped. So you can see I've eaten the ice cream. That's, that's all that I could take. Let me zoom in here. All right. Oh. All right. So I ate the ice cream. That's all I could take. The, the pie left me very disappointed. However, let's take a look at the kitchen, y'all. So I'm sitting at the bar. All right. We got the cleaning station here. We got them in the back. I don't know if you see this red thing right here. I'm going to go to a video so you can see. This is where the microwave is. And when I mean like in full view. So you're watching them take the food. The chicken was great, but they're taking the, the food and putting it in the microwave in front of you. Does anybody have an issue with that besides me and Condemia? The food was struggle street. <laughs> Brandon's not having it. Who was it? We had a Tennessee girl in here that said that the original place, the original Gus's in Tennessee is good, but the franchise location's not so good. I mean, they did walk by. I mean, there was the one man who just kept stirring and staring at me. That was a little creepy. I felt like there was an owner. They came to check on me, like everything okay. And I was just like, The micro okay, you want to see the microwave? Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the microwave. Let me show y'all the microwave. There's the microwave right here. This red thing in the back, like in my line of sight. Let me back up. Y'all will see it in the video. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, this red thing in the back in my line of sight is the microwave. So there he is serving up the thing. All right, so I came out and I'm gonna show you all. It's really weird. I'm going to go back to the video where y'all can see. So I came out. So this is Gus's fried chicken and you'll see. Okay. So this is our little chicken shack, but you can see it's in a really nice, it's weird. We're in this, um, how can I explain? So we're in downtown Atlanta. Of course, the Sheraton is across the street and we have, excuse me, probably like in other cities, um, you know how the downtown buildings are kind of like connected. And so you'll have like either like sky bridges or underground walkways. So this is one of those underground walkways where you don't have to like cross the street. And you can see there's like a suit shop next door. It's really nice. It's really new. So that's that's where I was going, you all. And then I turned left into Gus's and I ended up in Section 8. 
So it was the weirdest thing. So I just wanted to show you all. See, it's this nice like corridor. And this is like underground, the skyscrapers, uh, Peachtree Center and all of that. But they just they just let Gus's be. There she is. That's my server. So y'all can see this is where I was sitting in the middle. And uh, yeah, that's what it was. It was the weirdest thing. Uh oh, what did y'all say? Heralds don't even do folks like that. No way you can do that at home. What what did we do? Lisa? <laughs> it was a sunbeam microwave. And it was red. Go dogs. But yeah, it was a red. Y'all didn't even try to hide it. You didn't even try to make it stainless. You didn't try to put it anywhere. All right, I'm walking out <clears throat> and I'm just showing you all a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you the one last video from the inside. Crazy. All right, there's Gus's. So I'm just showing you all. I step back. Y'all can kind of see. Maybe they're trying to keep that rustic down home appeal. But it, it, it mm, mm mm. And then I came out on the street. What does Brandon say? Harold and Uncle Remus chicken in Chicago would blow this place of water. Honestly, you all, that's what I was expecting. I know I went to a chicken joint, but I was expecting like, like down on Southern food, but still served on a plate, you know, with a glass or a, a nice tumbler, you know, just really good quality. So I've never been to Uncle Remus chicken in Chicago. Chicago, so I'll have to, I don't know, I'm going to be going to Boston in March to do uh, New England uh, food with AV. I'm sure they don't have chicken up there. But yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm just showing you all, let me take this down. So you all can see I come up on the street level. All right, so there's our spot. But you can see it's in the, like downtown where all the you know places are. So I'm walking up. I'm like, oh, okay, not bad. All right, so let me see. <laughs> Where is, yeah, y'all can see. Can y'all see? Look at this counter. All right, but where is the, is this the video? I just want to pull up the microwave, but we're done. I wanted to show you all that. Let me read the comments and then let you all have your evening. But I did get a view of the kitchen. I was trying to be a little bit less conspicuous or inconspicuous. You know what I mean? Not as obvious. Microwave in full view. Can you imagine Gordon Ramsay? At least they're transparent with the lazy cooking. And, you know, sometimes I melt butter or whatever in the microwave. But when I cook for y'all, like, I really try to cook. I mean, if I'm just going to microwave something like leftovers, okay. Hmm. I don't want to don't play. Let's see. Make sure I got the right one. I think it's, I can't remember which one it is. Is it this one? <laughs> trying to get y'all the video of the kitchen. I know I took a spin around. Oh, here it is. All right. So, <clears throat> all right, everyone. Um, so we'll let this come up and uh, we'll close it out. Thank you all so much for having fun with me tonight. So this was my review of Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken. Uh, the Atlanta location. Uh, unfortunately, the food, was, the chicken was good, but the experience left me wanting more. I ended up in Section 8 chicken. I don't know if anybody has ever been there. Why is it doing that? It just starts spinning on me. I don't know if anybody's ever been there. Um, and maybe this is what to expect. You know, I've been told that maybe my standards are a little too high, but uh, I guess so. Oh my gosh, Centennial G says lead can't take big Shirley. <laughs> Guess we'll get body slammed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, I had so much fun with you all. But yeah, I guess maybe they're gonna focus on the chicken. And um, oh, you're welcome, Daddy Girl. You're welcome. I don't know what's going on here. It's just spinning. Let's see if we can. Get it to play. Um, so let's see. What else we got going on this week? Um, I think I might have another collab tomorrow. Just trying to coordinate and confirm. If not, 
the boys will be back. So I'll definitely be cooking tomorrow and cooking all this week. Thank you all for um, being here and having fun with me on a Saturday night. Um, I do have a YouTube course for anybody who is interested in monetizing your passion, just like you all have helped me monetize my passion for food. It's $50. I've gotten really good feedback on it. You get lifetime access. Uh, it's two hours worth of content broken up over 15 different modules. And um, I talk about how I got monetized in four months. And um, per lead attorney, most new YouTube channels take a year to get monetized. I'm coming up on a year next month in February. So we'll do some something walking down memory lane. Um, but yeah, how I got the subscribers, how I got the watch hours, building the community and even screenshots along the way. So you all can see if you have a YouTube channel or you're thinking about getting one. You can also get the content for free if you join the Maggie memberships on a computer or laptop, go to join tab and we have memberships starting at $5 per month. Donnie says, Big Shirley would slap the sliders off. Oh my gosh, y'all are going in. Y'all are going in. I don't know why. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, in microwave. I didn't even realize that. They didn't even try to, you know, they didn't even try to, you know, and you just say, hey, you get what you get. But they were busy. We're suits in there, young guys in there, old guys in there. I guess if you just want to eat. Oh, my sexy is strong since she purchased the course. I think you messaged me that. Thank you, my dear. Yes. Yeah, so and she says it's a great resource. Great resource. Oh, so it's 10 p.m. on the East Coast, you all. I think that's it. I don't have, I might have a couple more collabs coming up this week. Just trying to, uh, sign, not sign, but seal all those final deals for you all. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the glass cut up and stream sponsor, uh, Centennial G. Clearly you're, because you are not only uh, dropping the bombs here, but uh, your comments make us all laugh. So yes, now we have section eight chicken, the Sinji uh, chest plate special. And um, the paper plates. So, hi, Isaiah. Thank you for passing through. We're going to go ahead and dismiss. I don't know why y'all, <clears throat> it's just spinning, but you all saw the microwave and they microwaved it in front of me. Brandon says, Maggie, please tell me you were honest with the Yelp and Google review. I don't really leave reviews. Do you think I should? But see, here's the thing. I don't want to seem like I'm out of touch. I will if you think I should. I absolutely will. But I don't want to seem out of touch. If this is supposed to have that like backyard hole in the wall kind of feel, and then I'm like, I should have gotten pl proper cutlery, you know? So that's why I was asking. I don't know if our Tennessee girl is still here, if you're watching the replay, but the original Gus's, I mean, I don't know. I've never been. But, you know, when you look at the website and this is what they put on the website. So when you look at that, should I be, <laughs> who's wrong? Am I wrong? Or Condemia says, how long have they been open? Mm -hmm. Since like 60 years ago in Tennessee, but this Atlanta location, I don't know y'all, but I, I probably won't be going back. Um, I just, because I'm on this health and wellness program, if I eat off my plan, I really want it to be a great experience. And maybe those are my expectations and I shouldn't have those expectations, but I have been even like Sonny's Real Pit Barbecue. I think they give you real knife and fork. Sonia says I should leave one. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. All right, you guys. I'll, I'll leave a review with the link to this stream. Okay, Sinji is cutting up. Instagram, oh, thank you for being here. It's Joe, I appreciate it, but we are signing off. Uh, I do stream every day, so if you want to subscribe, I will see you tomorrow. Class is dismissed on Instagram. Um, all right, y'all, I'm getting tired. So yeah, it never came up. But thank you all so much for being here. I will see you all tomorrow. Either we have another collab, but if I don't get it confirmed, no, tomorrow, Sunday, yes. Um, I'll be cooking something for the boys because I will be fasting because I've done enough damage today. What does Lisa say? 
I'm going by the pictures. You would expect a paper plate. Okay, so maybe I should, uh, you know, fix my expectations. Yes, Sinji, thank you all so much. Drive through and not a chicken house. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and let you have your evening. Brandon, be safe in Germany. Um, you all, I will see you all tomorrow. Please consider subscribing if you like what I do. I do stream for you every day. This was fun tonight. I'll see you all. Class.